Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny and I create budget-friendly home decor that is easy to do. I'm going to be creating some Easter DIYs using these wood crosses from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut off the jute hanger. I will be using two of these for the first DIY and I'm going to use some Dollar Tree plaster to cover up that hole and I'm going to be painting one of them using some celery colored chart paint. Today's video is in collaboration with two of my dear friends here on YouTube and that is at home with k and craft away with may and i'm going to have both of their channels linked in the description box below and if you're coming over from their channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you enjoyed today's video so i wanted to create a more sturdier cross and i wanted it to be two-sided so that's why i'm going to glue them on the top of each other so i have a more um thicker piece and i am going to leave that other side unfinished now i'm going to sand around the sizes i usually do this when i am gluing two wood pieces together to help blend them now i am going to be using some dollar tree transfer stickers to embellish both sides of this cross so for the first side the unfinished side i am going to be going in with those neutral color flowers on this sheet so i'm just cutting them out and then i'm going to place them um, where i want them um, to be where i think they'll look nice and as you can see i did cover up that spot first that i had the plaster on there so for this side i wanted to keep everything nice and neutral so i'm only transferring over the neutral flowers and then on the other side that i painted with that light green color i'm going to use the reddish looking florals i thought this was so simple and so cute and it's just a really cute way to decorate these crosses so now i'm on the other side and i'm now going in with the other uh, florals and for these transfer stickers um, from the dollar tree they're pretty easy to use once you lay them down on the surface all you have to do is rub over the stickers and then just peel up the plastic now I try to make sure I rub over them pretty good in in this um, video as you can see I'm using the handle from my scissors because they're handy but I typically like to use one of those little Cricut tools but this is doing the job and I just pull it up slow um, to make sure I have um, the sticker transfer over once I get this complete, I do want to take some Mod Podge to protect the paint and the sticker. So I am going to go over both sides with the Mod Podge and that is it for this piece. This is really simple, but I think it's such a pretty statement. And so while visiting my friends' channels, if you can do me a favor and tell them that Jenny said hello. And also, I want to mention that Kay from At Home at Kay is having a birthday coming up. So let's give her a little happy birthday shout out. Happy birthday, Kay. Now for this cross from the Dollar Tree, I'm cutting off the jute hanger, but I'm not covering up the hole. And as you can see, this one is um, shaped a little different. The Dollar Tree does have out a lot of cute different styles of these wood crosses and as you can see I'm also going in with some of that white paint and I have these other transfer stickers. These are um, the ones with the words and all I'm going to do is like patch on these words as is. I'm just cutting them down and then I'm just going to add them in different spots and just transfer them over. I did have some overlapping on some of them. I could have um, did it a little different, but it still came out really great. Um, I'm just going in, adding the words, and then I'll rub them over and get them all transferred. This was really simple, but I really do like this one as well. And what I'm going to do is create a hanger um, to put right back in there, and that's why I didn't um, plaster over that hole so once i get that complete what i'm going to do is take some mod podge and go over it to protect those um stickers and to protect that paint now for the hanger i do have these um beads from the dollar tree and um, i cut the string and took some of the beads off because i didn't need my hanger to be that long 
but these come already stringed on from the Dollar Tree and you get a nice amount of beads and so I'm just going to string that through the hole and tie a simple knot in the back I'm going to tie two knots to keep it nice and secure and that's going to be it I'm going to cut off the excess um, cord and I do really like how this one turned out as well So for the next DIY, I have one of these little chunky crosses from the Dollar Tree. I cut off the jute hanger and now I'm just going to use some of that Dollar Tree plaster to cover the holes on both sides. And then I'm just going to um, sand off the excess. Now I have one of these little wood cubes and what I'm going to do is take the cross and I am going to attach it right in the center. I wanted to create a cute little shelf center using this cross. Um, now what I'm going to do is take some white paint and I'm going to paint this entire piece. I think this little shelf sitter would be cute any color, but I like going in with um, really um, clean colors when I'm styling around certain decor just so I can blend in really good. And once I get that complete, I'm keeping this really simple. I pulled off some greenery from a bunch that I have here and I picked this bunch up from Walmart a while ago. I'm just using pieces off of it so it has been lasting a long time i'm just clipping it down using my wire cutters and i'm going to take some hot glue just to attach um attach it right to the base of the cross and i'm just going to be using two little pieces now i had um another sheet of those transfer stickers and i did cut out um, the word that says trust and so i'm just going to place that right in the center of the cross and transfer that over and that is going to be it for this I think this is really cute this is actually cute for all year round and I probably will keep it on that shelf with those books all year round Now for this one, I have one of these standing crosses from the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to use this wood piece here to attach it to because I did want a bigger base. So I'm just going to use some hot glue to attach it. And then I'm going to go in with that same color, light green paint, which is that celery color from Waverly. And I'm going to paint this entire piece. Actually, most of these, um, all of these crosses in today's video can be up year round. They don't have to be for Easter so once I have it painted I'm just going to take this sanding block and distress around the edges I like to bring back that natural color and it also bring back a little bit of definition now from that transfer sheet of words I am going to cut out two words I'm going to be using um, cherish cherish and embrace because I do want to embellish the both sides I want to put um embrace in the middle on one side and cherish on the other side so i'm just cutting out those words and then i'm going to transfer those over i'm also going to embellish the base of this using some florals and i'm going to be using some of the buffalo check ribbon from the dollar tree but you can use any ribbon i think on this piece and it will be really pretty but I'm going to go in with this buffalo check. I thought um, adding some ribbon to the base of this just gave it a more finished look. So I'm just adding some hot glue, um, not a bunch. And I'm just taking it and stretching it around until I have it completely wrapped around the bottom base. Now the florals that I'm going to be using to embellish the bottom is some of those florals off of that bunch from Walmart and this is actually a different bunch I have about three of these bunches that I didn't had for a while and so to me they're pretty for the spring and Easter season so I'm just going to cut off a few pieces of them and then I'm just going to hot glue them down to the base this was really simple but I do love how it turned out and I'm so excited to see what May and Kay has came up for there are videos um, we all are doing some Easter 
decor and I know that those ladies are going to knock it out the park so I'm just going to add a few more pieces and that is going to be it I wanted to make this more like a centerpiece um, for now I'm just going to style it on one side but I want to be able to use it as a centerpiece for Easter and how cute is this Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And remember, today's video is in collaboration with at home with Kay and craft away with May. So don't forget to check the description box below for the link to their channel. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.